Hi everyone, this is Andy from Facet and today I want to show you how you can improve your mask editing process by using the edge refinement option. As an example, let's say that I want to create a mask that takes the shoulder of the person in this image. Let's start by zooming in a little bit on this image. Uh, maybe not that much. There you go. And now we're going to use the brush tool to create this mask. Now I'm going to create a mask that is deliberately not good at the edges. Okay, that should do it. And let's accept this. Now, as you can see here on the options, we have the feathering option and the refine edges option. I'm going to toggle these two to make them off. And in order to see what our mask covers, let's add a solid fill, maybe using this color. As you can see, this makes very explicit how bad is our mask around the edges. Let's start then by selecting the layer and coming here to the edit mask so we can increase a little bit on the feathering. As you can see, by applying this change, we have now created a blur around the edge uh, of the mask, making this edge softer. We can of course uh, come here and either increase this value, which will make the transition larger or decrease it to make just a tiny blur around the edges. Now the really interesting part comes when we start to use the refine edges option. Let's click here and let's take feathering up a little bit. And as you can see now, the shape of our mask has changed. What basically happened is that we look for hard edges on the colors in the image and adapted our mask to fit those edges. We can control how much or how, how farther away do we look for these edges by controlling the feathering option. So by increasing this value, we will look further and make better adjustments. But there's always a trade-off, right? Uh, as you can see here on the bottom, we are also trying to find those edges. So it's like the color starts to leak uh, on these uh, changes here on the shades that has the person in the shirt. And if you take this further, you can see that this also goes further. Now to wrap up, let me say that these options are available on any masks that you create. Um, the only change that you may see is that for some tools this is enabled by default as it is the case of the brush, whereas from other tools like lasso or rectangle uh, they are not enabled by default. As an example, let me show you here uh, creating a rectangle and as you can see if we edit the mask uh, the feathering and refine edges will be on zero and unchecked by default which of course this is something you can change uh, as you will and we can see that well, here right and if we come back here we get um, a sharp rectangle on our image so that's it for today hope you find this useful and see you next week